Good morning and welcome to video three of the Andres. Today we're going to do the sanding and getting this thing ready to paint. Hopefully we'll even get into some of the painting. So stick around. I'll show you how we're going to do this when we come right back. Well, all right, welcome back. I'm hoping this is going to work. We're going to try this. This is the uh, first time I've done anything sanding captured inside what we did. We're going to find out together if not whether or not this works. Uh, I've got some 220 grit sandpaper. Since this is plywood, I'm going straight to the fine grit. And uh, we'll see how this works. So here we go. Well, initially, I think it worked out pretty well. Um, I'm still going to have a lot of hand sanding to do, but that's okay. I was expecting that. But I'm really pleased how this did knock down the fuzzies on the front side. So I'm going to put this right back in there. And then I will flip over. Well, actually, I'm going to take it out again. But I'm, I'm going to flip it over and then that will allow me to sand the back side. So let me set that out of the way. And I'm going to turn the board over. And we will flip this over and we'll put it right back inside here. And we'll do it again. That works so well. So here we go. Side two. Well, I got to tell you, that worked better than I thought it would. I am really, really pleased with the way that took care of both sides of the, the wording. So, I'm going to change my setup and I'll come back and I'll be set up to do some hand sanding. And I'll show you how we're going to do all that. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Power tools are done. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking these various grits of hand sanders that I have as well as the 220 that I had on my uh, random orbital sander. This hand sander with some 400 grit and I'll actually pull you pulling that sandpaper off as well using it by hand. But now what I have to do, <coughs> excuse me, what I have to do now is to gently fine shape the lettering because with the, with the router, you don't get exact sharp lines as you did like when I cut them out of the laser. So I'll have to do some hand sanding and I'll smooth everything up and get the, the letters uniformly shaped. So we're gonna start out, um, this is a fairly coarse, it's not the coarsest grit that I have, uh, but we're gonna start out with it. And what I'll do is I'll just actually lay it flat down on the table and just, sand it back and forth and what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to keep a good square edge and finish this letter like I want it to be done so I think I think what I'm going to do I'm going to go a little bit coarser let's see I'm going to try this one right here go a little bit coarser and maybe we can get a little bit quicker uh, relief so, yeah, that's, that's going to be working a whole lot better. We'll get that squared away, shaped up. And I'm not going to force you guys to watch all of this because I'm one of the rare people in the world who really enjoys sanding. And I know the vast majority of people out there think that's about as much fun as watching paint dry. So this is how I'm gonna proceed. I'll even, like I said, I'll even take some of the, the 220s and all, and the 400s and just kind of work them in. 
and get them to the shape I want. So this gives you an idea of how it's going to do, uh, what it's going to take to do it. And obviously this is the longest, most painstaking time of this project. So it's something that I planned for. I knew it was going to take the time, but it's going to be worth it in the end. And I want to turn out a quality product for this young couple. So I'm going to do what it takes to give them what they deserve. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go ahead and record just a little bit more of the, the sanding. And then uh, I'll put some music on for y'all while I'm doing that. But like I said, I'm not going to make y'all watch the whole thing. Just I just want you to get an idea of how I'm going to do all this. And um, so when I come back at the end of this, we'll be getting ready to do some painting. So I'll be back in just a second. It's going to be a couple of two, three, four, five, maybe even six hours for y'all. So, or for me. So I'll see you real soon. All right. Well, dummy me, I totally forgot about having my Dremel tool because I don't use it very often. I use it more for cleaning my router bits than I do for sanding. But I got you dummy. You got the tools to do the sanding with power tools. So, okay, I lied. Power tools it is. We'll use this for some fine sanding and, and shaping. So. Here we go. I have a foot control on the floor. Now, this is going to work real well. So the old adage works smarter, not harder. This is probably where it was born in my shop. <laughs> I wish, just wished I subscribed to it more often than I do sometimes. But anyway, this is gonna be a time saver. Here we go. All right, off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. <clears throat> and it's going to be a whole lot quicker, a whole lot better, and I'm going to be a whole lot happier. So I'll see you shortly. Well, thanks to remembering that I had the Dremel tool to do my sanding with and polishing with, uh, it didn't take me as long to do what I needed to do with these letters. I still have some more final sanding that I want to do and, and uh, just check things over but i'll get that done off camera so this video is running a little long so i'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up and uh in the next video we'll finish this out with the painting and then we will have it ready for delivery so i want to thank everyone who's followed me along the way i'm looking forward to getting this made and delivered for the bride and groom and i will see y'all in the next video until then Hug all your family and friends, let them know you love them, and God bless.